So I do live stream it. It records it. It's easy for me and you're anonymous and it gives you a chance to look at a class later on in the week. Welcome if you're joining on live stream or you're a zoomer or you're watching a recorded version, there are many roads up the mountain, but we're all going to get there. Settle on in, maybe wiggle your legs out. You can see how relaxed my cat is up in his bin. Looks like a lot of cool kids showing up for class. Almost everybody likes Wednesday. We've got these busy lives, so many projects, so many things to do, so many fun things to address. And if we do just a little yoga, it'll make everything else fit better. Nice deep breath. Have you taken one yet today? Air is free. You can have as much as you want. Swallow once, circle your jaw around. If you're a newcomer joining on YouTube, just relax and take it easy and watch or participate as best you can. All the, everybody's here. We have Polly Wog, our favorite two-year-olds in class. He's enjoying the terrific twos. Hi, Wally Pog, nice to have you. Love you, young man. Let's see some down dogs and stuff in a minute. We're relaxing right now, though. Whew. Okay, let's review the day, let it settle. Our mind starts spinning like merry-go-rounds, let it calm down. Even if you have your grandchild in your arms, you can hold on to the child perfectly and still let the wavelengths of the mind calm down a little bit. About two, three more minutes. Okay, then we have that ritual where we feel whatever we're feeling and we notice how that's healing us over the days, weeks, months, and years, just to process our feelings on a daily basis rather than every 20 or 30 years or so. Polly, don't kick your grandma. Come on, bro. You're acting like Looney, my cat. Breathe what you feel, feel what you breathe. Everything is always working out for us. More stuff is happening behind the scenes. We don't have to do everything, just our part.
Okay, then the great prayer of acceptance, I accept exactly who I am, where I am, what I have, and what I'm doing right here, right now. Okay, then biggest inhale of your whole life so far, big deep inhale. If you're two years old, it's been quite a road so far. Exhale, release it, two is the new one. And we'll just be calm and empty souls for a few moments. We're just going to sleep for an hour. Okay, let's wiggle our fingers and toes and get ready for action. Circulate fresh new feel goods through your body. Welcome if you're just cruising into class, you Zoomers or you live streamers, arms up to the ceiling, lace your hands, push your arms up over your head, writhe around on your back. Get that stretchy, euphoric, weephoric, first thing in the morning stretchy feeling. My cat does it every morning when he wakes, well, actually 15 times a day when he wakes up. Good. Draw your knees in for some knee hugging and back rolling. You just roll around on your back and it kind of starts us because once we start moving, the challenge is always starting. Once you start, it's easy to keep a body going, but a body at rest tends to stay at rest. So we start to move it. Get a little Sir Isaac Newton going on here. Okay, and we'll roll up together and we'll light this candle. Greetings, Wednesday friends, or if you're watching recorded, welcome to whatever moment of now it is for you. We're going to relax as much as this guy up here. Do you see this? He barely fits in his bin, and yet he's completely relaxed. So it's great to see you. We're going to chant OM once because uh, action is worth a thousand words. Inhale. Oh. Feel that nice vibration course through your nervous system, eyes closed. Here we are, right here, right now. Maybe we're not where we're gonna be someday, but we're not where we used to be, and that's okay. It's a journey. We're never done. Okay, we're going to start with the antidote for sitting all day long. Some of you may have sat all day long. So the antidote for sitting, do you know what it is? You stretch your legs out, you open up your hands, you set them down, and you lift up your butt. That's called anti-sitting. So this is the antidote for a chair. If our knees bent the other way, this would be sitting. Don't try to figure that out. Okay, come on down. Now, however you cross your legs, switch it the weird feeling way because we do like to shake up ancient patterns. Lace your hands, weird if you're new. And I just shaved, so I'm gonna draw my thumbs down my freshly shaven sternocleidomastoids. It feels smooth as a baby's skin. I have to watch my language on YouTube. Six, seven, eight. Good, now take your opposable thumbs, circle them around. 
Dig them underneath your jawbone. Relax your face down into your hands. Massage your thumbs provocatively underneath your jawbone. If you're brand new, gentle, if you're a veteran, find the little button that pops your head off. It's so such a relief. Good, hold steady pressure. Go steady with yourself. Oh, so good for you. Relax your hands down, right fingers back, left corner. By the way, if you're just trying this for the first time, a lot of this is yin yoga, which is sweeping the planet, even though yogis have been doing it for about 8,000 years. But in the West, we're into fads. So, hey, yin yoga, brand new, taking time in yoga poses. Who would have thought of this? Of course, now you can market it, make more money off of it because that's what spirituality is for, is to make tons of cash. Am I cynical? Good, click your head back up. Good, left fingers back right corner. Tilt coconuts left. And after you've tilted, then drop. Then relax your mouth. If you need to drool, it's okay in this class. Let all the expression wash from your face. No one to please push, prod, promote, or poke. It's just you and your higher power. If I ever decided to fire my higher power, I'd have to hire some firepower. That's hard to say with your head sideways. Good, let's click pumpkins back up. And just four neck rolls. One, two, three. Haven't we done neck rolls before? Yes. Other way. Do you brush your teeth every day? Maybe. One, two, three. Good, then we re relax our head down for 22 seconds. It's almost impossible if you're busy of mind and you always have to look around to see what's going on. I haven't checked my texts in four seconds. Now stop thinking. It's actually possible to stop thinking. We just don't teach it. Okie doke, and we'll go to other cross of the leg, the one that might feel somewhat more familiar. Good, now we're gonna do an anti-sitting pose again. We'll do something different with our arms. We'll turn them up. We'll go to external rotation, which means you touch your elbows together. Then you bring the same things back here. You drop your chin and we go bottoms up. Simple human ranges of movement done in sequence with mindfulness, with brilliant, like-minded friends, with a friendly teacher. This leads to enlightenment in just minutes per day. And come on down. Excellent. That's pretty good. Okay. Now, the hands go here. And they're just, how do you say this? You just go like this. And then you just go like this a little more. Before you know it, you're going like this. How fast should you go? Yes. Should I compare myself to other people? Why stop now? Six. I've stopped comparing myself to other people. Ha ha, I don't believe you. Other way, right shoulder down. Let's go this way. Comparison is the thief of joy, so we could cut down a little bit. Maybe we're right where we're supposed to be. About 4 billion people ahead of us, about 4 billion people behind us. Six, seven, 
whatever you're good at, you're better than at least a billion people. So isn't that enough? Good. Come on up, kids. No, I have to be the world's best at everything. <laughs> Even if you are, it lasts about a year and then somebody stomps on you up your back. Even Tiger Woods is not that good anymore. Poof. I'm going to reach all the way up to my cat on this one. Poof. Yep, I did it. Remember Mrs. Incredible, the cartoon character, her arms would stretch super wide. Poop. I said poop instead of poof. I apologize, YouTube. Up your back. And this time I'm actually going to say poof. There we go. For all audiences, arms forward. Palms up. I like palms up because I can receive goodies. You can hold up your grandchildren. Poor Anne, she's constantly trampled by her grandchild. She loves it. Pull your hands in, scrape your side. Come around to the front. Pull in. This is meditative. I would call it even intoxicating. And this is for a person who's not allowed to get intoxicated anymore. But I can get high on my own supply. Come around to the front. You better believe I'm going to do that and coffee. Pull in. I can quit coffee whenever I want. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, now, hands by the side of your side. Wrap your thumb in your fist gently. Drop your chin, close your eyes, make beautiful ujjayi breathing. If you're watching this on a live stream, what's he talking about? Just kind of feel your breath at the back of your throat. If you're just live streaming for the first time, you're doing yogi with some serious veterans here. So just absorb the molecules. Good. Now we'll push out with palmar flexion. You might have to guess what that is, but now you can see it. Go back here to your cat. Brush your kidneys. We've never done these movements before. We've never lived in this day. You've never stepped in that river before. We get so familiar with living, we forget the miracle it is right now. Well, I need to see more miracles. Go look at a hummingbird. Arms out. If there aren't enough miracles in this world to convince you such as it is, there can't be any more. A giraffe is living proof. Go back and push forward, inhale, exhale out. Good, and finally a forward fold, finally. I'm gonna be forward with you, come on down. I'm not gonna jar you from one pose to the next, but if I was there, I'd put my hands on my shoulder blades and I would melt your scapulae apart. You can feel that by slightly turning your elbow creases up and mushing your elbows down and looking forward and then relax down to where you will. Stop thinking. Everybody in the spiritual game, it's quite common to say, well, you can't stop thinking. And so you can't, but somebody comes along and says, yeah, you can anytime you want. Be happy for no reason. Marketers hate that. We're okay, come on up. Oh, this is a good class so far. I'm learning to appreciate what I do. Fake it till you break it. So we switched the cross of our legs, yes? We did that. Now, we're gonna go to here, except we're gonna walk our hands all the way around our body to the right. Now, at some point, you're probably going to stop because we do have boundaries. I'm familiar with my boundaries because of how frequently I've stepped over them and relax over your right leg. Drop your chin. Now, bendy bears left hand on top of your right hand. And if that's too strong, just completely disregard me. Now, I'm going to toggle my armpits a little bit because I tucked my T-shirt in too tight.
I'm going to search for the flowing state of consciousness. Life is like learning to play music. You learn your notes and your scales and your arpeggios, but after a while you just can feel music and you don't have to, you can play your own music then. I'm not there yet with music, but I will be. Inhale here and exhale back to the center. Those arpeggios are hard. Good. Now we're going to come up and we're going to switch the cross of our legs so we get a little feel different. I'm going to pull back on my hi, how you doing? Hi, how you doing? I don't know why you want to say that when you do that. It just seems to be a thing. Now our hands go this way and we walk all the way around our body till we come back around to the front. Now you have a $500 bill with William McKinley on it underneath your right hip. And I'm gonna come pull it out from underneath your right hip and you're gonna be down 500. So sit on that bill. Mitch, maybe put your right hand on your left hand. Remember that cartoon mutts with the dog and the cat? Maybe you do. Now mush your armpits down, relax your hair, and be enlightened. Time to start enjoying this life thing. We'll walk our hands back to the center. Now, an interesting pose is fingertips. It's called fingertips asana. Now, one thing fingertips does is that it makes your arms longer. It's weird. And with my longer arms, I can feel like my turtle head is extending out of his shell, shoulder blades. My shell is moving down my back. And then I'm going to do one more floor root fold. My elbows can now hit the floor. And I'm going to massage my forehead with my paws. Now T-Rex can't do this. He has these little teeny arms. So if you're a T-Rex, it's okay. After we croak and we go to heaven, they do the life review. And the first question, did you enjoy your life like you were supposed to? And about 98% of the people go, oh man, I forgot, I forgot. And now hold perfectly still for 10 seconds. I thought it was about struggling and surviving and overcoming fear and competing and figuring everything out. Whoops. We get another chance. Come on up. But on the other hand, don't waste time either. Pollywog is back in the house. We're going to say Om to Pollywog. Inhale up. Om. Drop your chin. Close your eyes. Doing yoga too, it's a good good time. It's a good time to start. All right, stretch your legs out. Kind of wide like that, kind of a wider stance. Stretch your arms up. Now, horrible posture. Bend your knees and lean back. Ah, oh, yoga's hard. Ugh. It feels horrible. Stretch your legs out and sit up as tall as my cat. Pull your toes super in, stretch your toes open. Relax your shoulders, suck your belly in like you're wearing a bathing suit in a family photo. <laughs> God forbid. And good. Relax your hands down. Anti-sitting pose. Rocket thy hips up to the ceiling. Ugh. Good. Now look forward at your hips. They're right there. And wherever your hips are, lift your hips higher than your hips that's all 
Good, Jogies, come on down. Fabulous, fabulous. Fold your right shin under. Now make yoga fists for stronger wrists. Set your fists down. And we're going to eat half a camel. Up you go. Just one hump tonight. It's hump day, so we're going to eat half camel. I love that Geico commercial with the camel walking through the business office. What day is it? He says. A little higher. Und come down. Kids. Okay. Now, these hip flexors, they're right here. Take your bayonet fingers, and I want you to massage into this crease between the top of your leg and the start of your torsi. And if you're anything like me, well, it's supposed to be soft and squishy like polywog, but for most of us, it's like still belted radials. You can go a little medial, not too much. This is being live streamed. Just kind of dig in there. Oh, uh, you say? Good. Now those are, we tucked our hip flexors in, and now we're going to do a forward fold without our buns coming up. Now, if, if you're tight as a boiled owl, you're going to tilt over to the left because your knee and hip and ankle are just tight. If you come down and your butt stays down, you actually walk your torso over to the right. And my teacher used to come by and stand on my lower right hip he would stand on me. He weighed about a buck 25 and he had really good balance and he would stand on his students. Really irritating. But he could play a passionata by Beethoven, so I hate that guy. Okay, come up, friendly friends. Okay, now don't cry for me, Argentina. I'm not going to, well, you know what? I am going to fold this leg in, but only this much. And I'm going to lean way over here because I don't want to hurt my knee. But I want you to put your fists on the floor and lift your butt up, okay? Just lift up, just lift up. Lift up higher because now I can only watch. So just for me, You'll do things for other people that you won't do for yourself. Lift up higher. Good. And come on down. Now, I'm just going to use, I'm going to do one-handed hip flexor uh, parsing here. I want you to dig in there. And I want you to go deep enough that you feel the insertion of your quadriceps ligaments into onto the front of your hip. <laughs> That's an exciting feeling. Good, now do a forward fold. I can't, so just do it. Now, honestly ask yourself, is my left butt cheek up off of the floor? Man, I got room to sink that thing down. So we're going to put a big cartoon thousand pound weight on your left hip. And you're even going to edge your torso over to the left a little bit. I don't have to do all the poses anymore. I have special dispensation from the Pope to not do them all. Good. Okay, we're moving, we're grooving, we're getting some stuff done. I like it, drag this leg out. Super wonderful. Now, cat toys everywhere, this is actually a leg of giraffe it's called on your back legs up kitty cats and spread them i love this view i look right up at my cat he's got four paws hanging over and we're going to circulate our feet around now you could just mail in the, the feet circles or you could stir chunky almond butter with your feet oh somebody's hungry Five, six, seven, eight, and super twirly gig your ankles. Well, you just don't see this pose in other yoga classes. That's is why this is why this is the best one. YouTube goes out to over six billion people, and this is the best class because we do the movements that people can and should do. Good now point your toes like ballerinas. 
Put the fingertips on the back of your head, lift up your head, and your Kate Winslet holding on to Leonardo DiCaprio at the end of Titanic. Shouldn't she just have pulled him up on that little piece of wood that she was floating on? Now hands on your thighs, rip your legs out, dorsiflex, and turn your toes down to the floor, and then lift up a little higher, and then grab that bar again. Three, two, one, bend your knees, grab your big toes with elbows inside your knees, and roly-poly guacamole, holy moly guacamole. Ah, uh, man, if people would just do this, people should do this pose in church, just put on your Sunday best and head on down and do this in the pews. Three, two, I think we're thoughts, I admit. But now we're gonna lift up our head and pull our knees down to the floor. Knees are really bent. Inhale, exhale, rest your head down, fully straighten your legs and bring your toes down to the floor, way out to the side. Now you can't do that, but it's just an ideal. Good, bend your knees, lift your head, neck and shoulders, soft and squishy, happy and peaceful. Exhale, fully straighten and be a fierce tuning fork. One tuna fork, says my cat. Good, bend your knees, put your hands on your behind, roll up with alacrity, alacrity. Good, we'll pray with our hands and feet. Yay, we're in class. Let's clap for all those people watching on YouTube. We're out to over a million subscribers so far, it's so cool. The world needs yoga and we're delivering. Good, all right, now from here, We'll back up a little. Now, usually I, I, I save a somewhat more relaxing pose for a little later, but we're going to relax a little bit and then we're going to amp it back up just to stimulate our nervous systems. Here's a bolster. I bet you guys have a bolster and if you don't, you probably have blankets. And if you don't have blankets, you have pillows. And if you don't have that, Yoga will help build prosperity, so you can go to bed, bath, and beyond and get some. Now, turn your knees over to the left. This isn't going to be the long version. I just, I want to do a good twist with my friends. Now, slide your knees and your ankles behind you. Look up at your cat on his cat tree. Now, put both hands on the bolster in front of you. Pat, pat, butter, pat the bolster. Now, see how I'm leaning back first? I'm leaning way back away from the camera. And then my right hand goes over here. Now tonight, we are gonna see how far we can move the bolster over to the right without popping a rib. So I'm coming down with the emblem on my t-shirt and I'm even gonna go to my left ear because I'm golfing tomorrow. And I'm going to go for a pretty wicked yin style stretch. Okay. If you're watching this for the first time, just do it easier. Don't go so far. One strategy of yoga is survive the class. Experiment with your arms, wherever your arms are, try them someplace else. Down by your side, sticking straight out to the side, just try something else. Your shoulders will say, wow, feel that.
Good kids. Now pull your hands in by the side of your chest and bring your chest up just enough to put your forearms on the bolster. Why am I talking like that? Good. Now, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of lean. I'm going to lean back and get kind of a spinal extension, new word, twist. Okay, now I'm going to look way behind me to the right at my cat, okay? Look way behind you. Good. Now, here's a pose. I bet, I bet you can't do this pose. How's that for a challenge? You know how I know? I can't do it either. I'm going to take my right hand and put it here in front. See our left arm? See how it goes up like this? And I turn my chest. 180 degrees up to the ceiling. And my left hand goes over here. My lower body stayed exactly where it is. And then you're gonna lean all the way back on your bolster. I could do that, but I would, I would die. So I'm just gonna lean back a little bit, but a lot of you are more flexibler than I am. And also, frankly, I don't mean to be stereotypical, but women are more flexibler than men. And a lot of women can do that and lay on their back and take their arms up over their head. For me, just leaning back. You know, actually I can do it there. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh, oh boy. This feels, this feels, Isn't that amazing? We can keep our lower body where it is and yet turn our upper body 180 degrees and lie down both ways. That's pretty cool. But only if you do yoga. Okay, let's get up out of this predicament. Now from here, we're going to put our hands behind us. And again, half camel, super rocket ship your hips up to the ceiling. Okay. We should hear your belt buckle squeaking on this. And come on down. Excellent. By the way, that's another Greg original sequence. So if you ever use that, you owe me a royalty for that sequence. Okay, now bolster goes back here. Love your bolster. Ah, oh, feels good. Sometimes just the simple tactile feelings of life we forget how good something feels just because we're inured by familiarity. It's probably why God takes us out of the material world from time to time, because we just, yeah, it's just the world, whatever. Good, now take your knees all the way over to the right. Now pat, pat, butter pat your bolster. Take your knees and your ankles around behind you, cross your ankles. Pull your heels into your bottom into mermaid pose. Now both hands on the bolster. Now fingertips, fingertips equal longer arms and leaning back more. Bendy people would take both their arms up for a moment without any problem. Problem for me. Good, now bring them down. Now put your left hand over here. And tonight we are doing the stretchier version. So. I'm not going to stop at 11. I'm not stopping at 10. I'm going to like mm, 930 over here. Now I'm going to put my thumb in my belly button and totes turn my spine all the way, my belly all the way down. And I'm going to lay on my right ear. And I'm going to kind of say, oof. Now this is squeezing out the old. You can't put new wine into old wineskins. And if you're in recovery, you can't put new grape juice into old grape juice containers, whichever.
It's a nice antidote to Monday yoga, isn't it? Just calm, yin, peaceful, and yet our bodies are cheering. We're going way deeper into tissue because we're giving time, time. Actually, we're escaping time by not being jerked around by it. Good. Now, hands by the side of your side. Press up just a little bit. Cross both of your forearms on the bolster like this. Now you could just lean back a little. And if you feel a little more stretchy, you might put both paws up here and just lean back into a back bend carefully while you're in a twist. Look back up over your left shoulder and see if there's a mountain puma getting ready to land on your face. I have a cat tree in my bedroom and he jumps about nine feet right onto my sensitive parts of my body in the middle of the night. It's it's a riot. It really is. Good. Now here's the pose that you maybe can do, but probably can't. Your left hand goes here. Your right hand makes this big, elegant Hollywood movie star close up, right arm up. Look up at the ceiling at the camera. Sweep your right arm around behind you and then lean your back on the bolster without your legs moving at all. Good luck on that. If you can do it, great. Maybe grab your elbows up over your head in Rita Hayworth pose. Ava Gardner pose. She drove Frank Sinatra crazy, literally mad. Oh. I can do it on this side. My knee doesn't bulk. I've never seen this yoga, this yoga pose before. And so I'm not getting out of this life without inventing a couple of yoga poses. Do your arms go over your head? Is it okay? Can you reach way up over your head and look like a four-year-old who's fallen asleep in the back of the car kind of pose? You remember picking up sleeping children when you were a young mother, how heavy they were? Because they're just so relaxed. Okay, and then the last half camel, this is our fourth half camel which equals two camels you put your hands behind you and now we speed the plow of the hips up to the ceiling now you may not be able to lift very high because this stuff is tight but every little bit helps it's a cumulative thing good now sink down out of that Oof. all right good well uh We'll get ourselves out of that predicament. About 90% of life is getting out of predicaments. Wouldn't you agree? Now, here's one we haven't done for a while. We'll stretch our legs out. This is a great strengthener. Now, instead of just, instead of just lifting from our feet and our hands, we'll point our toes all the way down. We'll bring our hands back. Now, in advance of going into plank, we're gonna try to put our toes on the floor and squeeze our ankles together even before we come up. Now, exhale, inhale and plank asana. Really good for strength. Now, if you're really strong, lift up your right leg while you're in this pose, way up high. Good, now bring that leg down and lift the other one. Do not lift both legs at the same time. And come on down. Wonderful. Do you really think we're getting out of class without doing this? So 
Roly poly the wrists. This might be the single most important thing that we do. Other way. In one of the world scriptures, it says strengthen the hands, confirm the knees. The hands are the organ of action, materialization. The knees are the structure of courage and bravery. Strengthen the hands. Shake them out. Hey, hi, how are you? Let's gossip, shall we? God, I haven't gossiped in a long time. It would just be so much fun. Just talk about people faster, faster, heck of fast. Good, now cup your hands at your heart, drop your chin. I had a mentor once that said, you're done gossiping. And I was like, that's really bad news. There's nothing wrong with a little gossip, is there? No, it just rots our soul. Good, now stretch your right leg out. Nothing wrong with that. Good. All right, now. Take lefty over righty, fold righty under. All righty then. How are we doing? I love how time just goes away when we're doing yoga. I just, I love escaping the prison of time. We actually de-age, arms out. Look how much further we go than we used to. Oh, this is so good for, especially if you keep your butt glued to the floor and you don't kind of wobble. Good. Now from here, right arm under, make out with yourself, fold up your wingy thingies, and ups and downs and lefts and rights with your elbows as much as you can without ripping your arms off. I'm going I'm to try some circles. Ugh. Other way. Good. Now our chest and elbows go as far to the right as humanly possible. Our face goes as far left as possible. Drop your chin, tilt your head, close your eyes. Now let's say for power and grace that we are calm, peaceful souls. It's a practice. Okay, we'll bring our elbows back. We'll slide hands to elbows. They magically go in the right place. Up they go. Look how much further back our elbows go than most people. Does that make them make us better than them? Yep. Uh. Good, now I'm gonna bring this one way back here and lean in and Stretch my inner costals. Good. Same thing on this side. Oh. oh, man. We might feel tight, but compared to what we'd feel like if we didn't do this, we would be a hot mess. Good. Arms up. And we'll bring them down. Now, I bet you guys have yoga blocks and you can swim toward me. We're gonna grab our right wrist with our left hand and we're gonna massage our lower back. You know why? Because it feels good. That was the justification for everything in the 70s, which led to a lot of problems in the 90s. And then, bonk. And balance your head and your hips. Go weightless. Quit waiting. Go weightless.
See, I'm right. You can stop thinking. That's one of the reasons I talk so much in stream of consciousness is that you just stop thinking. Okay, come on up. I'm not thinking at all, obviously. All right, now, from here, I want you to grab your left tippy toes. I want you to snap them and twist them and turn them and rend them and goof around with them, tickle them a little bit. Toes are people too. Good, now grind your right fingers all the way in there. Some people don't like this, and to them I say, Good. Circle your ankle around. Other way. Brand new YouTubers are watching this going, Marge, you watch, the, watch this guy. He's doing this weird thing with his feet. Good. Now squeeze your left toes into your right fingers as hard as you can. Splay your right toes open wicked wide. The sound of one hand praying at your heart. Drop your chin and balance the hemispheres of your brain. Squeeze and splay today. Good. Now, relax that. You might, your feet might cramp a little, but it's good for them. Now this next thing you might not be able to do. So maybe you just bring the knee in a little bit and you kind of grab and twist to your left. But if you can do it, you slide your left knee on top of your right knee. It's called cow face pose, pose of cows. Actually, I was driving through the country the other day and I saw some cows doing this pose. It's pretty cool. Now take your thumbs into the middle center bottom of your feet because they're nicely exposed. And I want you to drill a couple of new holes in your feet. Good. Push pretty hard. Close your eyes. Relax your shoulders. Forgive everybody in the universe, especially yourself. We've made a couple of mistakes. We didn't mean to. Well, sometimes we did. Good. Now we'll extract thumbages out and a, a mild medium or strong twist we might consider putting our right elbow on our left knee and looking bored and disinterested you might shift the elbow outside the knee moving my guts over and then maybe one day we bring both elbows down over here on the left drop your chin Yogis are very smart. They squeeze out old feelings, emotions, thoughts, and attitudes, and you get a new software update. Your phone does it all the time. Humans do it about once every 40 years. A lot of people are still running on 80 software. Good friends, come on up. And we got one more side to do, which we call the ohm stretch. So we'll extend our leggies out. We'll jigulate them a couple of times. Okay, and then righty goes over lefty. Optional to fold lefty under. After a while, this becomes one of the just best, best seats to sit in. Glider pilots. Doesn't that seem like fun going in a glider and cruising out over the somewhere in the west with all the like monument, monument, Grand Canyon places in Arizona, just floating around. Woo. Good. Now left arm under. Hug yourself like you mean it, folds them up, and then ups and downs and lefts and rights. We may have accumulated some tension and stress in our lives, but we're not going to accumulate, it, accumulate anymore, and that's just for damn sure. We're going to dissipate 
a little every day and become a little more liberated every day. Not many humans get enlightened all at once. Most of us get the educational variety over a long period of time. Now elbows and chest as far to the left as you'll go. Turn your face all the way to the right. Drop your chin, close your eyes. And now please think everything is always working out for me. Everything works out for good for those who love God. You can say that in your language. That's fine with me. Good, now our hands slide out to the elbows. They're cleverly crossed the other way. Up they go. And we're gonna frame a new house. Now I'm gonna work my right elbow super much behind my head and I'm gonna to lean to the left and kind of pop a rib out. Good, and then left elbow all the way behind this side, lean this way. Good, and our arms will come up, they'll come down. This is called floor shadowing, where I put this block here, something will happen with it. Now, swim toward me, grab your left wrist with your right hand, massage your adrenals. Ah, uh, sometimes you got to take matters into your own hands. Honey, will you massage my kidneys? No. Good, and now we're going to rest our forehead on our psychological block. We're going to go weightless. Next inhale, come on up with a whole new angle on things. Now, if you're a really tight person, you're so welcome in my class, you might just bring your right knee in and kind of bring your elbow around it and turn to the right. That would be great. Otherwise, you could grab your right foot and slippy slide it way over here. Then your knees magically line up. The bottoms of your feet are exposed. This time we're going to drill underneath our big toe knuckle on the bottom. It's called your metatarsal. And you'll find it because it's the place that feels the worst. <laughs> and you, oh, you just drill in there. Then you hold steady pressure with thumbnail, drop your chin, close your eyes, connect your third eye and your thumbs in a triangle. Stop thinking. Beautiful. Come up, my friends. Good. And then maybe a kind of a strong twist or a medium one. Elbow on your knee, left one. This is fine. Now I'm gonna tuck my tummy in, turn more this way. And then one of these days I'm getting both of these elbows down again, like the olden days. But the tent, the tent, the habit is to bring shoulders up by ears, relax shoulders, drop chin soft scruffy back of your neck hair soft and squeeze the stuffing out of yourself the top of our feet are velcroed to the floor Just a little yoga every day. It's cumulative, just a little yoga every day. This is the kind of yoga you could do with me 
at least four times a week. Okay, come up, my friends. Good, and all we do now is we just chant an om together, and then we go into about seven minutes of blissful nothingness. I love chanting and singing. I didn't grow up with any singing, so at least I can chant now. Big inhale. Oh, peace on earth, goodwill to sea lions everywhere. Good now you may please relax on your back with bolsters, blankets, pillows, cushions, everything you need. And I'm gonna hold time and space for you and be quiet for five minutes. Goodbye, blesseds. And y'all are gonna relax a lot. This is where you absorb all the heels and all the feels.
Okay, friends, slowly begin to come back. Please take your time. Transition slowly. It's such a nice afterglow. Okay, we might wiggle our fingers and toes now that we're partially back in our body and circulate super feel good around ourselves. SFG. Good. When you're ready, curl onto your right side. Take your time. Okay, now keeping our eyes closed, there's a reason. We sit up nice and slow, keeping the peaceful countenance on the inside of ourselves. I believe we feel much more connected sometimes with our eyes closed. There's no artificial visible boundary separating us. We're so much more one than we are separate. E pluribus unum. Hands to our beautiful heart. We'll drop our chin and we will feel holy, sacred, and reverent for a moment. You decide toward what? And in unity, all together, the mighty yogis, we all say, Namaste. And as always, I say good night first to the YouTube live streamers. I get choked up that you guys would join and make sure to subscribe and like it really helps the channel and tell all of your friends we're almost to a billion subscribers.